actually about uh, affordable housing and public housing in the area because uh, I've grown up in Brunswick, which has gentrified over the years, and I see us now focusing on a number of issues but not realising the privilege that we have in this electorate. Now, if we want to talk about sustainability and ensuring that people have access to transport and recycling and a whole lot of things to ensure that we can continue to live on this planet, then we need to ensure that we have meaning and distancing. So, so yes, the question is, what will you do if you get elected into Parliament, really actually do real action on public housing, affordable housing and public infrastructure for the area? I'll start. Um, <laughs> I'll start. Um, I, yeah, uh, it, it breaks my heart a little bit to see you, um, as a young person, still thinking about the duopoly as the only way that we're ever going to have politics. <laughs> And then to Christian uh, public infrastructure, sure. I think I think we need more investment in that stuff. <laughs> so, affordable housing uh, is particularly important, and it's something that people have commented on here in Brunswick with uh, rents rising, and I think the median rent for a three-bedroom house is over five hundred bucks a week in, in Brunswick, and. Uh, so, uh, on Wednesday night at Council, um, Council had to vote on the affordable housing provisions in the Coburg Activity Centre just on the northern boundary of our electorate. Um, so this was, a, this was a big structure plan for Coburg, uh, the, the, the C123 that went to a review panel at the State Government, and they knocked it back because it had 20%, uh, I think, uh, social housing provisions built into it, so the developers would have to put 20% of the apartments aside for affordable housing. Uh, they knocked it back because they said developers won't build it, so the council was faced with the decision as to whether to support this or not, and the majority of council uh, voted against it. So uh, Greens voted for it, um, but, uh, but they were defeated um, by the Labor majority. And so what the Greens would do in state parliament is mandate for those 20% or a given percentage of compulsory social housing be included in developments over a certain size. Once we get developers building these kinds of, of developments with a certain number of apartments set aside for social or affordable housing, then that should meet those needs. Thank you. Um, I think, I'd say to, I mean, I think it's absolutely, Profoundly important, um, and I think there's no greater example than the building we're in and the Olive Way and the welcoming place this is for people who um, do not have uh, all of the um, all of the access to uh, background and money and, and opportunity, um, the vulnerable and the disadvantaged that they are welcomed here and that they can live here and thrive here, and it is one of the great <coughs> issues in the inner city. And certainly, um, I would very proudly say that both the state, the previous state and federal Labor governments um, invested an unprecedented amount uh, in, during the GFC in terms of the spend uh, that was done to keep the jobs growth. Um, we had the education, building the education revolution and the second major tier was social housing and we saw more social housing built uh, in Victoria under that program um, uh, than we'd seen in a very long time. I'm very proud of that uh, and that is precisely what Labor governments, um, the core of what we do. Uh, and I think around here we have um, issues in, uh, we have um, the importance of making sure that we are doing social housing that is um, and we have developments where social housing is included, the salt and pepper effect, and we've seen that in Coburg, in, in Moore Street, we've seen it in Carlton, just down the road, um, and we've seen great refurbs of, of um, housing in the inner city. Um, it's absolutely critical people um, can remain in the inner city, are welcomed into the inner city where the services are, where the transport is, and where the schools are. So, can we just extend that answer by one more word? Will you agree to a mandated percentage of social housing in all major developments? Yes or no? <laughs> well, that's what we're asking for, is that it be built in so that we don't have these major developments in social housing that's pushed out. We need to have it mandated. We need to have it legislated. Is that something that your government will support? I support um, levels of social housing in developments. 
I think Jen's given her answer, that's fine. Does anyone else have a response?